Hi there. In this tutorial, I want to show how to uh, mirror an animation in Unreal uh, by using Motion Builder and Maya. So uh, to begin off with, I have a motion capture uh, video I shot in my living room. Uh, and uh, since I'm left-handed, I didn't really realize the uh, impact on this uh, before I brought it into Unreal. So the problem is I have a, a kind of a South Pole pose. So I'm going to make a step backwards here. Uh, and that's going to look silly since all the other animations are right pose, right hand poses. So uh, I wanted to change this so I make this uh, flow with the right hand instead. And of course I could just remake this, but uh, I wanted to see if this was possible uh, in some way. And uh, the way I figured this out was to use uh, this data that I have um, in, um, in an FBX now. And I'm going to bring that into um, motion filter first um, so we motion file import and take the um, flow pose here just leave everything as it is here and as we can see we need to rotate it li this a little bit so we can see he's facing forward now so he's gonna make uh, I'm gonna make uh, the throw with the left hand okay so what we need to do is to create a control rig first and um, I already have the the, um, the skeleton ready, uh, but I will make a video showing how this was done. This is done because uh, I am completely new to on motion builder, and it was kind of a mystery to me all of this stuff. Anyway, uh, we'll notice that some of these are green. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because on the first frame we have a solid T pose, so it's not going to worry about that. Anyway, uh, then we need to click Characterize and click Biped and uh, create the control rig, FKRIG. So um, in order to get this um, onto the character um, in the mirror, uh, uh, actually we could plot this character first. Um, so deactivate this, uh, the, the control rig and plot the character to the control rig. Leave everything as is. I think Gimbal Killer needs to be on. And um, then we will see we have the the control rig now uh, moving, um, still with the with the left hand throw. So uh, other tutorials I've seen they say that we need to change this to uh, MB uh, character solo. I didn't do this, and it seems to work in two thousand and sixteen, which I'm using. So I won't touch that. And uh, we are scrolling all the way down here. We also have on the modifiers and um, mirror animation. We can take this one off, on, and deactivate the control rig, and then plot the character to control rig, and click plot. So that's going to turn him uh, 180 degrees. And uh, now he's going to be making the throw with the right hand, as you can see here. Okay. So um, uh, last thing we are going to do is to, with this still active, the control rig, plot the character to the skeleton and click plot. And if he disappears and you want to see him still, he's still here, still having the, the right hand throw animation. So uh, we are going to go ahead and save this as and call this uh, flow poses MB for motion builder. I already done that but just uh, hit save again. So that's the stuff we need to do in uh, inside Motion Builder. So now we want to switch to Maya and um, finish up the animation there. That's the way at least I figured out to do it. There might be easier way to ways to fix this. So anyway, we're going to go import and browse our way down to the motion capture FBX we called MB here and let it load and uh, what you will notice is that uh, if you come into the outliner you will see you have tons of stuff coming from uh, motion builder that we don't need so uh, once we export this we want to make sure that it is um, exported only as selection so anyway uh, change this to 170 because i need one no my animation is 170 long and uh, you can see the animation is still here with the right hand so the uh, last thing we are going to be doing here is just to click the, the joint tool uh, to create the root joint um, and call this the root 
and make sure the radius is something we can see and make sure it's zero and zero then we're gonna click the hip and uh, shift click the root and click um, press p on the keyboard so that's going to create the, this artificial uh, root uh, bone that we need for bring it into unreal engine so uh, let's go ahead and export selection oh no i need, need to pick this one okay so click the root make sure the root is selected and uh, click export selection and call this mb underscore m for my makes it easier to figure out what is what just ignore the warning okay so uh, back in uh, unreal engine let's first of all take a look at the original uh, animation my wimpy throw with the left hand here and um, let's import that into the um, the one that we just made in uh, motion builder and maya so pick the maya uh, version and select our action girl root and we're gonna let that import okay so uh, with that import let's uh, double click it and see what we have we um, first of all we will notice that um, she's actually turned 180 and we probably don't want that so uh, we can fix this really quick just for going to the import settings down here and hit 180 and re-import so uh, this is going to take her and rotate her 180 degrees and i find this the easiest way to handle this instead of uh, fixing it inside uh, my but you could uh, just as easily do it in there but anyway that's just the way i did it in this video so now we have the animation and she is now making the throw with the right hand so I kept these um, um, or cropped these animations a little bit to show um, how it's going to look um, with the standard pose and this is a standard idle as a little hiccup there but uh, it's way better than before and I think I still have my old animation not quite that one um, this is the old one where I'm making the throw and he's definitely as you can see making a big uh, jump back and forth so this is uh, at least way better to work with because um, this is almost uh, okay just out of the the box as this game came out i just cropped it um, uh, kind of randomly so uh, anyway i uh, hope you enjoyed this and can use this for something in the future so uh, till then bye bye